Hello Perma people! Today we're going under the surface into the very roots of life on Earth. The soil, which is everywhere beneath us, thus we often take it for granted. Yet, without these layers of healthy soil, we wouldn't have food, clean water or even a stable climate. But shockingly, we're losing soil faster than it can regenerate, as over one-third of the world's soil is already degraded. And this isn't just a distant problem, it's happening right now in places like southern Spain, where poor agricultural practices have led to massive soil erosion, turning fertile lands into deserts. So in this video, we'll explore real-life examples that will help us build systems for rich and fertile soil. It's like our skin. When it's wounded, it needs time in order to heal, and only then it can protect and sustain what's underneath. Our journey starts in Spain, specifically in Andalusia, where a large-scale initiative called Alvelal is working to restore degraded lands across four provinces – Altiplano, Granada, Almería and Murcia. By using agroforestry, no-till farming and native tree planting, they managed to bring soil back to life. Working alongside with local farmers, they promote climate-resilient practices while improving biodiversity. And their work clearly demonstrates that soil can be restored if we apply the right knowledge and care. But what is it exactly? Soil isn't just dirt. It's a living ecosystem filled with countless microorganisms. Bacteria, fungi and worms all working together in order to create the very nutrients that the plants need in order to grow. Healthy soil is like a balanced community where each organism plays a vital role. The winery Bachmeier in Austria treats soil as a living organism, carefully keeping it healthy so that they can produce world-class wines. By feeding the organisms inside the soil with fermented dry and stone flour, they manage to build rich organic matter. This approach not only improves the quality of their grapes, but also regenerates the soil itself. While at Hitler Estate, which is another winery, they take it a step further by using compost made from organic vineyard waste. This organic matter enriches the soil with humus and improves water retention so that it is easier for the plants to absorb nutrients. The result? Healthier vines, more resilient crops and a thriving ecosystem underground. So how can we regenerate soil practically? For that purpose, there are three powerful techniques. The first is composting. This is how nature recycles everything. Organic waste like food scraps, leaves and plant cuttings can all be transformed into rich compost. There are many community hubs around the world that collect organic waste and transforming it into nutrients-rich soil for local gardens, as this turns urban waste into a local resource. Next in line is no-till gardening. Traditional plowing breaks up the soil and kills many organisms. So no-till means planting without disturbing the soil while keeping its structure intact and protecting the life within it. Grania Caimito project in Andalusia has shown how no-till techniques restore degraded soils without expensive equipment. And finally, we have mulching which is when we cover soil with organic material like straw or leaves, as this protects the soil from erosion and keeps it moist while slowly breaks down into valuable nutrients. Mulching can also prevent weeds, thus making your garden healthier by doing less work. That's a win-win. Healthy soil is the foundation of all life on land. It's a quiet hero that is working tirelessly beneath our feet, as it pulls carbon from the air and storing it safely underground, helping us to fight climate change. Imagine it like a giant sponge absorbing rainwater, filtering it and releasing it slowly to prevent floods while keeping our groundwater clean. It's a bustling city of life filled with billions of tiny creatures that are breaking down nutrients to create a balanced ecosystem. Soil is the place where our food comes from, as it nourishes the plants, which in turn feed everything else, from the insects that pollinate crops to the animals and humans that rely 
on those plants for food. But when soil is degraded, loses its nutrients, and our food systems start to collapse. Crops wither and entire ecosystems suffer. I have good news though, since soil can be healed. Even the most damaged land can be brought back to life with the right knowledge and care. Now let's put all the previews into practice. Here is your challenge. Choose a spot in your garden, bark on your, even under your sink, and collect organic waste like vegetable scraps, fruit peels, coffee grounds, etc. Then layer it with dry materials like leaves, straw, or shredded cardboard, and turn the pile occasionally to speed up decomposition. Magically, after only a few weeks, you'll have rich, dark compost ready to nourish your plants. Again, soil is so much more than dirt. It's a living, breathing ecosystem that sustains life on Earth. By protecting our soil, we protect our own future. So next time you step on the ground, remember that there's a whole world beneath your feet and you can be a part of it by keeping it healthy. Follow us in the next chapter where we'll explore the most essential element of sustainable design. And until next time, stay curious and connected to nature.